hello guys and welcome back to today's video my name is Zeke the programming guy in today's video guys i want to show you how to claim your apple music profile as an artist it's very easy so if you have an apple music account and you have um, a song that is live on apple music then uh, you can actually claim your profile so let's see how we can actually do it uh, it's very, very easy so all we have to do guys is to head to a browser all right so um, you can actually do this on your pc or on a mobile device like your android or ios okay i have a video on how you can do it on your mobile device so um, i'm going to add the video at the end screen of this one but today let's see how we can do this on our pc um so all you have to do basically is to um go to apple music for artists all right so and then you find this first link right here apple music for artists then you see this um artist.apple.com artist.apple.com so just tap on the first link you see right there and uh then you'll be taken to this page so what you have to do next is to come over here and click on sign in so uh, you have to sign in using your apple id all right so let's see how we can actually do that so um i'm going to sign in using my apple id right now and then my password After that, guys, I'll be directed to this page where I can now search for my artist profile on Apple Music. So I'm going to click on the find an artist. Then I'll come over here. So right here, you can enter your name, your artist name on Apple Music, or you can add your iTunes store link or your Apple Music link. All right. So I'm going to enter my name. Yeah, so this is my name and this profile over here is actually my profile. So I'll tap on that and uh, then it says choose a song or album. So I'll tap on this one. And here it says uh, enter the email address or phone number you want associated with this account. So what I'm just going to do is to enter the email address uh, that I want to be associated with this. And then what next? We just have to scroll down. So here it says uh, social media accounts. Um, so I'm actually going to, um, yes, is add any official social media account that you have access to for this artist. Um, I'm going to click on this so that I can just add my Facebook um, and also my Instagram. So let's wait for this to load. All right, so I'm going to click on this continue as Isaac Okube. So this is actually my name on Facebook. So I'll click on that and then I'll select um, this page just for the sake of this tutorial. And then I'll click on next and I'll click on done. And yes, it's linking Apple Music for artists to Facebook. All right, so this will take just a few minutes. All right, says so yes, says you've now linked Apple Music for artists to your Facebook. All right, so I'm going to click on OK. All right, so as you can see right here, it has been added. All right, so the next thing you can go ahead to do is to add your Instagram. But I think we have to skip that one because I can add at least only one of my social media handle. All right, so I have to scroll down. Now I have to choose the music distribution platform I use to distribute my song. All right, so I actually use DistroKid. Okay, so. In your case, it could be CD Baby, uh, One RPM, Tsunko, uh, Tsunko Japan, United Masters, etc. So I use DistroKid. So I'm going to click on this ad so that I can add my DistroKid. Um, all right, so here's it. So I'm going to click on sign in. Uh, there, there is an error. So I have. To, Oh, yeah, yeah, there is an error. So I have to enter the right um, username and so I have to clear this and enter the right one. All right, so this is the right email address and password. So I'm going to click on sign in and uh, then uh, this will be connected. As you can see right here, it has been added. So what else do I have to do? So the next thing I have to do, guys, is to scroll down and then I have to enter these other information 
Uh, so I have to enter my label name. So my label name is is this. All right. So what else do I have to do? I have I can enter my email address, phone number, uh, company name. All right. So once that is done, I can scroll down. All right. So I have to enter this other part, the management info. So I have to enter the email address. Um, and this is provide other information that might help us verify your connection to this artist or band. Um, I think there's something I'm missing up here. I think I have to check this box because I actually don't have any management um, info to provide. So I have to check that one. So what else? What else? What else? Yes, it's relationship to artists. So I have to click on this. Sorry, we missed all this part. So I have to correct these other ones. All right. So what else? So the account info section is completed. The social media account section, we added one, which is Facebook. And then the, for the distribution section, we added DistroKid. The label information, so I added my label information. And the management um, section, I didn't do anything. I checked this box um, to confirm that there's no management. And uh, what else? So the next thing I can do is to come here and click on Submit. So I, I don't have any other information to provide here. So I'm just going to click on Submit. All right, so yes, it's thanks for submitting your request. We will review your information and get back to you with an update as soon as possible. All right, so guys, we have successfully claimed our Apple Music profile. So we have to wait for Apple Music to review our request and then give us a feedback. So that's how you can actually do it. So this guy is helpful and you now know how to claim your artist profile on apple music if you just give this video a like if you have any other question you can uh, drop it in the comment section down below thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys